Welcome to My Dream Home with Jody Hinkle. On My Dream Home, we'll help you find your dream home or turn your house into the home of your dreams. Learn about the properties, products, and services that will make that dream a reality. Brought to you in part by Railyard, upscale urban offices for sophisticated professionals. And Patio Pools, local family fun since 1969. I'm excited to welcome to the studio T. Van Hook, CEO of Habitat for Humanity. Thank you very much for being oh, on the show. Thanks for having me. I'm excited to be here. Well, I'm excited to have you. I think it's a great organization. I have a lot of friends and family who have either participated or actually had a house built by you guys. Can you tell the folks at home more about your organization? Absolutely. Habitat for Humanity Tucson has been around for about 35 years. We're celebrating our anniversary this year. Uh, we've built more than 400 homes in Tucson. This year we'll, we'll go over the 400 home mark. And I think uh, we've done a lot to impact the community. One thing I want to say about Habitat Tucson, we're a hand up, not a hand out. A lot of people think we give houses away for free. And you know if you've had friends and family that have received a Habitat house, it's a very long process to get a Habitat house. Our homeowners uh, attend classes on budgeting, how to be good neighbors, all of those things. Uh, they put in sweat equity, 250 hours for every adult living in the house, and they save money to put down a down payment. On top of that, every Habitat homeowner has a 0% mortgage. We hold the mortgage, so they purchase the house and they pay us back over time. And that's with my friends, you know, they um, worked very hard with you guys, put in a lot of time and effort that you're talking about. And it was an excellent work, you know, when it was all said and done, everything looked beautiful and they have a wonderful home that they live in now. Well, it's really important to us and it's important to our volunteers that come out that we build the best quality home in Tucson. Last year, Tucson Electric Power gave us the Bright E Award for having what they call the tightest envelope or most energy efficient house in Tucson. We're really proud of that and of the other technologies that we deploy to have the best house available. The higher quality the house, the less long-term maintenance costs, the less energy costs. So it's really critical that we're not just coming together as a community to provide a house for folks, but that we're really providing a home that they can stay in long-term. And I know you guys, not only through your construction process, but through your rehab stores and stuff like that, are big into green. You find uses for different materials that may otherwise end up in the dump. That's true, and we divert tens of thousands of pounds, hundreds of thousands of pounds of uh, things that may have gone to the landfill. Folks bring over to our uh, Habit store, which is on Grant Road, and you can donate gently used construction materials, furniture, appliances, a lot of things that people were sending to the landfill that can be reused. And we're really excited to be part of that. We're excited to now be moving our fleet to more energy efficient vehicles, to be building an energy efficient uh, product. Our Habit Store runs on solar, not 100%, but we have solar panels there that help drive the Habit Store. We collect rainwater at our sites and, and certainly in our administrative offices. We have the cisterns, we feed all of our xeriscape vegetation using the water that we're collecting. So we're doing everything we can in Southern Arizona to really be part of that green movement and have the greenest workplace we can have. For folks at home uh, that are watching us that want to get more involved, how can they do that? There's a lot of ways to get involved and, and we always say there's, there's no wrong thing. You can pick up a hammer. We love to have volunteers out and we're really a volunteer driven organization. And not just for construction, we have volunteers that answer the phones in the office, volunteers that have, help us with data entry, volunteers that serve on committees and do safety. You can always write a check, that's always welcome. Um, we do live on donations and it's really important. We can't do what we do without those charitable donations. Or you can just talk us up, you know, we're excited to be here on your show with you today and just talking about um, what we offer to the community. People need to be reassured. It's, it's a long process, like I said, and it, homeowners are a little frightened when they come in and, and they should be. Home buying is scary for all of us. And then when you add low-income families that haven't always had all of the breaks in the world, it's a hard process. So we love to have members of the community encouraging friends and family to take advantage of our program. For the folks at home that want to find out more about Habitat for Humanity here locally, how can they do that? Well, I suggest two things. One is that you go to our website at habitattucson.org 
You'll find everything you need to know about us there. You can volunteer, you can arrange to have items picked up for the Habit Store or get information on us, or you can point, click, and give. You can, we take donations online. Or call us at our, our offices at 326-1217. There's always a friendly voice that can help you out. Excellent. Well, T, thank you so much for being on the show. Thank you. It was a delight to be here. I'm excited to be out on location at Moore Security Solutions with the President and CEO, Rick Moore. Thank you very much for being on the How show. How you doing, Jody? Thank you very much. Well, I love this kind of technology that's out now. It makes us safe. It keeps us updated on what's going on in our homes. Can you it tell does. the folks at home more about your company? Well, we've been in Tucson for over 16 years. Uh, we are a local company. We're not one of the big boys that don't care about you. We try and sell from a local angle, community. We're all in this together. And uh, we think security is a very interesting, exciting field. Makes you sleep well at night when you're taking care of your customers and helping them to sleep well at night too. The technology has come to the point where we can keep track of what's going on at our home when we're at work, when we're out shopping, whatever the case might be. Tell us about home automation systems. That is a very exciting new prospect here in this industry, and we just love it here at More Security. What happens is it gives you the capability of setting the system up. As you say, when you're at work or you're on vacation, even if you're in Los Angeles or something of that nature, you can dial up on your smartphone, which is a wonderful invention, by the way, and we use it a lot in our industry, but you can dial on your smartphone. You can check the status on your alarm, see if it's armed or disarmed, or say you want your maid to come in but don't want to give her a code. You can do that also. Including the home automation, you can set the thermostat. Did you leave it low? Did you leave it high? You don't want to go to Los Angeles and you got the temperature on 85. You can set that up. You can use it to turn your lights on and off if you're going to be gone for a while and even for locking and unlocking doors. So it's a very exciting new technology and we love it here at More Security. So if I'm out of the house, I can check my smart device and see if I even armed my system. You can, absolutely. You can check a smartphone, PC, you can do an iPad or anything of that nature. So it can be Android or Apple, doesn't make any difference. But you can check on status, thermostat control, a whole lot of different unique features. You can even get a camera and check on your camera to see who's on your front porch. Is it the UPS guy or guy in a ski mask? So it's a wonderfully exciting new technology. And I know we're talking security here, but you just brought up an interesting fact. Like my family and I, we go on vacation in the summertime. Sure. And we raise the temperature, temperature of the home because we're not there. Absolutely. Now on the way back home, what I could do is actually lower the, the temperature in my house so it's comfortable for when we get home. And we can do that from the smart device. Isn't that exciting? Not only that, say you fly in on a plane, it's July, you know the temperature is 100 degrees in your house. When you get off the plane, you set the thermostatic control with the air conditioner comes on. When you get home, you're safe and comfortable. It's a very, very nice feature. So Rick, for the folks at home that want to find out more about you guys, how can they do that? Thanks for asking, Jody. The best way is to really come down to our showroom at 2432 East Broadway here in Tucson, right near Broadway and Tucson Boulevard. Of course, you can go to our website, www.moresecuritysolutions with an S.com, or else you can give us a phone call here at the office, 520 881-2885. Love to have you come by or contact us. We can help you out. Thanks so much for being on the show. Thank you, Jody. We appreciate it. I'm excited to welcome to the show Jack Eversall from Connecticut. Thank you for being on the show. Thank you, Jody, for having me. Well, tell us a little bit about Connecticut. Well, Connecticut is an all-American company that was founded way back in May of 1970 in Cleveland, Ohio, by two engineers who taught at Case Western University. Connecticut is an all the only patented twin alternating non-electric water softener available on the market through all 50 United States and nearly 100 different countries around the globe. Interesting, and what's good about that is I know you guys are a green product and you guys participate in a lot of those green type events. That is correct. Because we are a non-electric system that runs on water pressure, we don't waste a valuable resource like electricity. We use a lot less water to clean and regenerate our Kinetico systems with. So your body, when you're drinking it, won't ingest as quite as much as a standard electric system would. So it's better for you, better for the environment, and keeps your utility rates low. And your home. Yeah. Because everybody comes home, they take a shower, they do laundry dishes, they get itchy, dry skin, they complain about eczema, psoriasis, dryness of the skin, the uh, white buildup on the glasses, the silverware, the plates, and this product here will help rid that problem. That's fantastic, because I know that's one big problem that we have here in Arizona in general, is our hard water and the fact that all of that collects on everything. And 
and the fact that you have that actually helps your products last longer, right? That is correct, because what do we use in the house more than anything else on a day-to-day -day basis is water. And the water flows through the water heater and all the calcium collects in the bottom. So every time the customer goes to take a shower and the water heats up, they're heating up rock before they heat up the water. Henceforth, you're gonna save on your energy bill, heck, three, four, five dollars a month normal for an average family of four. So Jack, I understand that you guys have the number one drinking water station. That is correct, Jody. The Connecticut K5 drinking water station, patented through Connecticut, is rated number one in Consumer Report year after year. That will give you the healthiest purified water for both you and your family, both at the kitchen sink and refrigerator. But what's really unique, it eliminates the need of buying bottled water at the grocery store. You know, you probably go in the grocery store a couple times a week, right, Jody? I definitely do. And you probably buy bottled water occasionally? We do. And you probably sit there and you take one bottle, you look at another and look at another and go, what am I drinking? Well, we take the guesswork out of it because the Connecticut Drinking Water Station will provide up to 99 0.99999% purified water to you and your family continuously. That's really cool. And the other thing that's cool about that is you're saving and going green by saving all of those bottles. Oh, that and a lot less waste water because Connecticut uses far less water to manufacture a gallon of water. But we always like to make the last bottle of water that you buy at the store, the last one you actually buy. And now you're with Connecticut. So for the folks at home that want to schedule a time for you to come out, What's the best way for them to get in contact with you and find out more about Connecticut? That's exactly right, Jody. You could give us a call at 520-293-6687 or just look for the number underneath the screen. Now, they can also go to the website, right? That's right. You can go to ConnecticutAZ.com. Thank you very much for being on the show. Thank you, Jody. Appreciate it. My Dream Home is brought to you by Patio Pools, local family fun since 1969. Welcome to America's Mattress, the sleep you need guaranteed. I'm Jeff Saunders, the owner. We're a locally owned sleep shop. We have two locations in town. We're on Grant and Tucson Boulevard and Oracle and McGee. We deliver, we set up, we remove your old mattress. We offer the largest Serta selection in town. We believe Serta makes the best mattress for the value. Are you getting tired of counting sheep every night before you go to bed? Come on down for a good night's sleep and you'll never have to count those sheep ever again. I'm extremely excited to be out on location at America's Mattress with the owner, Jeff Saunders. Thank you very much for being on the show. Hey, Jody. Good to see you again. You know, I am seeing mattress stores all over town. What's the deal with that? All right. Well, I get that question a lot, <laughs> all the time. Um, so what's going on is uh, one of the big players in the country has moved into Tucson in the last few years, and now they are buying up the regional chains. And they bought out Bedmart and Sleep America, which... Uh, a while back they were locally owned mattress stores so that's why you, you're seeing three or four mattress stores all across the street from each other. It's because they're being bought out and those places have locations I bet so that's why you see them right across the street from each other and three within a block or something like that. Exactly yep. So Jeff it seems like every weekend I'm seeing something on mattress sales. Right. Um, a lot of companies out there and it's not just mattress and furniture companies but they'll always have a sale because the best time for you to buy is when you're in the store. So if they are showing that there's a sale right then, the philosophy of most buyers is, hey, great, I'm in here today. It's what a coincidence. I'm getting a good sale today. And, you know, when they go home and you never have that uh, consumer that goes home and tells somebody, oh, you know what? I went out and I bought something and I paid the exact right price what it's worth. So what they always brag about is how much money they saved. And if you can see that you're saving 50, 60, 70% off, you're gonna brag about that. So in the olden days, if you ever saw a sale that was 10% off, that was huge. But over the course of the last 50 years, we've tried to up it, up it, up it, up it. And now you're seeing 60, 70, 80% sales sometimes. And sometimes they aren't actual sales, right? It's like they mark it up and then take it down and make you feel good about your purchase. Exactly. Um, so if you're marking the price up to mark it down, there's no real sale. Sometimes the sale price is higher than the price it was during the week. Um, so what we do that's different is we have a we have a low price guarantee. Obviously, everybody has that. Um, but we don't mark our prices up because we know there's a sale coming to mark them down. I do honor the manufacturer sales price, which there's about six big sales a year 
um, around the major holidays. Uh, one is actually starting today. It's going to be the Black Friday sale, which will go from Wednesday, uh, November 18th until November 30th. And um, that's a two-week sale. It's a Black Friday sale. Price is as good as it will be all year long. Um, so it's, it's a good time to buy. So Jeff, what is the sale? So right now on our iComforts and iSeries, um, you can either get uh, either $100 or $200 off a of queen, depending on the queen model, or you can get $300 or $200 off, depending on the king model. So um, it's a good time to buy. The manufacturer sale is when they actually discount the prices wholesale to the retailer. And that's a true sale. Um, you can't have a, a weekend sale every weekend. It's just, it's not legitimate. And when the manufacturer, you know, gives you that discounted price, you're able to pass that on to your, your customers and your consumers. Right, exactly. So and that's what we're going to do. So Jeff, for the folks at home that want to find out more about the sale, more about you guys, what's the best way for them to do that? Um, so they can come down to our uh, Grant and Tucson Boulevard location, which is the northwest corner. It's 2303 East Grant Road. And if they live on the north side, we have a location at Oracle McGee on the southwest corner where the Walmart neighborhood market is. Well, thanks a lot for being on the show. I always learn something new from you. I appreciate it, Jody. Thank you. Very excited to welcome to the show, Ryan Foster, Media Relations Specialist with the Better Business Bureau. Thank you for being on the show. Thanks for having me. So you guys have a really exciting time going on right now. You're getting ready for your nominations. Yeah, we're very excited for it. It's our annual Torch Awards event. Uh, we'll be honoring uh, people in three different categories for the event. We have four finalists per, per category. So right now we're just kind of looking for nominations for those uh, categories. So Ryan, who can be nominated and what's that process? Actually, anyone can be nominated for this. You can nominate yourself even. Um, you nominate friends, family, businesses that you have loved working with in the past. Um, but after we get those nominations, it goes through our panel of judges and that will, they will decide who will be our finalists. So they don't actually have to be a member of the BBB to be able to be nominated for this award? No, because we know that we haven't gotten to every business in Southern Arizona. So this is a great way to highlight yourself if you haven't yet become accredited. Um, this is a great way to get involved with us. So tell me about the event. So for the first time ever, we're having an evening event. It's going to be out at Casino do Sol. It'll be on May 5th, 2016. And it's going to be a dinner. It'll uh, be a lot of fun because in the past we've had it as a lunch and people have felt kind of obligated to get back to work. But with an evening event, it's going to be a little more relaxed. People can hang out for a while, maybe go to the casino. It'll be a lot of fun. So Ryan, for the folks at home, if they want to find out more about the BBB, what's the best way for them to do that? The best way is to go to our website at tucson.bbb.org. Excellent. Well, thanks a lot for being on the show. All right. Thank you. Happy to welcome to the show Maximo Gomez, real estate agent with Tierra Antigua. Thank you for being on the show. Thank you for having me. Tell the folks at home about you. Well, um, I've been in Tucson most of my life. I grew up here. I became a realtor in 2008. Uh, shortly thereafter, I actually um, acquired my broker designation. I was one of the youngest um, people to ever acquire a broker designation um, in Tucson. And then from there, um, I decided that I wanted to just continuing to like further my education in the real estate industry. So I went ahead and I noticed that a lot of people were actually having a lot of struggles with lending. So I decided that I would get my mortgage loan originators designation as well. So I actually have my MLO designation now. Um, and then that same year, I decided that I wanted to pursue a master's degree, so I acquired my master's degree in real estate development. And now I'm back here in Tucson and just doing real estate again. That's interesting. So you can actually help folks through the entire process, listing, oh, yeah. selling, uh, yes. uh, getting a mortgage. The entire way through, you can, from start to finish, you can help them. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And it's, a, it's really good. I, I can give them insight that I don't feel like not all agents can do. but. A realtor really comes into effect um, through solving problems and a lot of people come to me and they'll say you know I don't even know where to start and I can kind of point them in the right direction say okay well let's talk to a lender let's figure out the financing options that you have and then from there we'll go ahead and we'll set you up on a home search. Excellent so tell the folks at home I know that you are big in technology yes and you can set up these portals that yes 
So tell the folks at home about the portal. So the portal is a great tool. Um, any realtor that you're working with should set, like should set you up on a, with a portal. Um, the portal basically gives you direct access into the MLS system. So a lot of people like to go ahead and look online. Everything is driven by the internet these days. So especially if you're a buyer, you're going to be looking on Zillow, you're going to be looking on Homes.com, Realtor.com, all of the websites. Um, but sometimes those websites, they don't give you the up-to-date information that you really need when you're looking for a house. Like it might show you, for example, it might show you that there's a home there that's for sale, but it's actually already taken off the market. So you were starting to get really excited about this house and then you call me up and say, hey Max, what about this house? And I look it up in the MLS system and I'm like, I'm sorry, but that home's already under contract. So what I like to do is I build this portal. You give me some geographical information and some additional criteria, including the price point. We set up this map area and then what it does is that it auto loads all of the properties for sale in that criteria that fit that criteria and then you can go ahead and just it auto uploads it so that it's a uh, it's real time it's going to be there right in front of you as soon as the property comes on the market and is available you're going to get notified you're going to see it um, and you're you'll know the real properties that are actually listed on the market so from there, it's, it's all inclusive. You can message me on there, you can like, you can dislike, and it's a really great tool to find your next home. It sounds like it. And then the other thing is that you just talked about is you, they are communicating with you by telling you what they like and what they don't like mm -hmm. so that you can focus on those types of properties mm -hmm. when you do have the opportunity to go out and actually look at them. <laughs> so what's the best way for the folks at home to contact you? Well, um, you can go to tucsonmax.com or you can reach me on my cell phone, I'm always wired, and that's 520-275-7783. Excellent, well thank you so much for being on the show. Thanks for having me. My Dream Home is brought to you by Railyard, upscale urban offices for sophisticated professionals. Rebeth made my bathroom beautiful. Everyone loves it, including me, sister, so I'm doing it too. The selections are amazing and it's so affordable. And right now, you can save $450 on a complete bath, tub, or shower remodel from Raybat. Plus, you'll get free in-home design estimates, too. We even got a walk-in tub for Mom. Rebath was a great call. Glad I can help, sister. Rebath, 322-0120, 322-0120. Attention RV buyers! Frost RV has a brand new location and even cooler deals. Save 30 to 40 percent during our grand opening. Our friendly staff will help you find the right RV to make your vacation dreams come true. Frost RV, the coolest deals in the desert. I'm happy to welcome to the studio Vice President and Senior Loan Officer at Nova Home Loans, Ian Brandon. Thank you for being on the show. Thanks for having me again, Jody. Yeah, we always love having you. We always learn something new. And uh, it's really a great time right now to go out there and get that new home. Absolutely. Now, I know there's a lot of reasons why people come to you, but what are you seeing out there? Well, right now I'm seeing uh, a lot of buyers that are renting right now and come to the realization that now is a fantastic opportunity to purchase a home. Uh, you know, just today I, I pre-qualified a gentleman who I've been speaking to for over a year about home ownership and, uh, and today he said, you know what, Ian, I'm ready. And I, I couldn't agree with him more. Um, the loan program that I put together for him uh, is for a pre-qualification of $150,000. Uh, it's 0% down, so it's 100% financing. And his monthly payment is about $900 a month, including taxes and insurance. It's only a few hundred dollars more than what he's paying in rent. He's currently renting in an apartment. So he's going from an apartment to a three bedroom, two bath home with a, with a yard and uh, he couldn't be happier. So right now is a very opportunistic time to purchase. Uh, for that reason, you can, you can own for about what you're paying in rent. And another reason is uh, consumer confidence is really high right now, especially in Tucson. You know, people feel good about, you know, their job position. They feel good about stability in the market. And uh, the other benefit is values haven't sh shot up you know the, the values are you know they're, they're they're consistent they're affordable you know and, and you can you can afford the house and you know similar to what you're paying in rent and rates are still low you know this this gentleman 3.75 100% financing how, how can you beat getting a rate in the threes with no money down definitely you really can't you're exactly right and I look back to the point uh, when I sold my home 
about a year and a half ago. Mm -hmm. And I had owned the home for about three years. And the amount of money that I made off the sale more than covered all those months that I paid. I actually basically lived in that house for free, yeah. sold it, and then actually made money on top of it. Right. Which is amazing to me is that, you know, especially right now with our market the way it is, you know, when you pay that rent, you're paying somebody else's mortgage that they're gonna profit from down the road and you're not getting any return on that money. Correct, and, and speaking of sellers, uh, the holidays, we're right in the middle of the holidays, and the holidays is a fantastic time for sellers to put their home on the market. Most people would say, well, you know, I'm gonna wait until January or February, maybe even the spring, because that's when more buyers are gonna come out. But if you think about it, it makes sense most people do have that mentality. They don't want to sell their house during the holidays. And since they don't, what happens? The inventory decreases. Less inventory, still the same amount of buyers looking to buy a home. Sellers typically sell their house 9% more than what they expect to during the holidays for that reason alone. Really? Supply and demand. Exactly. You know, that's economics right there, right? I mean, the fact is that there's less of something, you're going to spend more on it because it's a you know, more valuable. Yeah, and, and more competition out there. So if two people are fighting for that same house because they really want it and they, they want to close before Christmas or, or New Year's, uh, they're going to pay a little bit extra for it. Definitely. Now, things are really exciting at Nova. I know you guys have a lot of things going on. I know you're very active in the community with the Boys and Girls Club, other charities and stuff like that. And then you have the big bowl game coming up, the Arizona Bowl. Absolutely. Uh, and that's going to benefit uh, charities in the area as well. It's going to benefit Tucsonans all around. You know, if, if you think bringing a, a bowl game back to Tucson, uh, you know, especially if the, well, chances are the U of A is not going to play in that specific bowl game if, if they do qualify, but uh, it's going to bring teams from out of town. So with those teams come, you know, the, the, the fans, the parents, the families of those teams, and it's just going to bring more money into Tucson, more money in our economy here in Tucson, further strengthens consumer confidence. And then, you know, the whole home, home buying, uh, you know, cycle just strengthens all around. And that's what I think is great about Nova. It's about giving back, you know? It is bringing in these tour, this tourism dollars for hotels, restaurants, everybody. Absolutely. And then, you know, the profits that you guys make off the bowl, you're giving back to charities in the community, which is amazing. 100% of profits go back to charity. Yeah. So we're, we're, not, we're, we're not looking to make a dime. We're looking to strengthen our economy here in Tucson because that's what it's all about. And that's what, that's what Nova does a really good job at, uh, giving back to the community, reinvesting in ourselves. Because if, if, you, know, if, you, if you take a loan from uh, an online company back east or a, a nationwide bank, uh, they're gonna take those dollars and the profits get distributed among either wherever they're at locally or among 50 states. Uh, Nova Home Loans is a Tucson born and bred company. Our corporate office is on Broadway, and if you, you know, by originating a loan through us, your money stays here in Tucson, which is fantastic. Definitely, and you guys are Tucson strong and Tucson proud, and definitely a great success story for all of us. Absolutely. For the folks at home that want to reach out to you and get pre-qualified for that new home, what's the best way for them to do that? Uh, they can do it two ways. Uh, one easy way is uh, visiting my website. It's www.ianbrannongroup.com. Or you can always call me. A lot of people like to uh, take phone applications over the phone. Uh, then call me at 520-577-4761. Excellent. Well, thank you so much for being on the show. Thanks for having me again, Jody. Thank you for joining us today. Remember, if you missed any part of today's show or you just want to watch it again, go to mydreamhometv.com. I'm Jody Hinkle and I look forward to seeing you again next Sunday at 8 a.m. right here on ABC KGUN 9.